بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Dear students, uh, today we are going to discuss bar jelly mai reaction. Uh, basically, it is used to convert a ketone into a carboxylic acid containing functionality by the use of chloroform in the presence of base. Uh, but this basic uh, reaction has been widely used by the different scientists uh, for the synthesis of uh, new organic compounds which have wide applications in pharmaceutical industries uh, etc. And uh, many heterocyclic compounds have also been synthesized with, uh, through the use of this uh, reaction. So we will discuss uh, some things about uh, this reaction today. Uh, the key points of uh, today's lecture uh, uh, are uh, brief introduction to Barzini reaction, complete uh, mechanism uh, discussion of original reaction, and then complete mechanism uh, discussion of heterocyclic uh, ring formation, uh, and then the explanation of uh, each step of both of these mechanisms uh, in detail. And in the end, we shall discuss some synthetic application of some reactions showing uh, the importance of this uh, uh, Barzini reaction. Barzini uh, reaction uh, was basically given by the scientist, uh, Italian scientist Barzini in 1906, first time. Uh, actually, it is not the uh, first time reaction because uh, another scientist, Link, uh, the German scientist, has introduced some uh, things about this uh, type of reaction, but he, he was unable to uh, clarify the nature of the product. And so it was named uh, that the we get the derivatives of phenol. But in 1906, Bajirai first time uh, worked on this reaction and uh, clearly found uh, the nature of the product. Uh, the reaction includes the uh, phenol, chloroform and uh, acetone to form carboxylic acid in the presence of sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is an activator, uh, not a catalyst. Then uh, most generally or the most important modified form of this uh, reaction is uh, to use this reaction to synthesize marfolinones or pipyrazinones from ketones uh, and using uh, the starting material of beta amino alcohols or diamines. Here you can see the beta uh, amino alcohol or diamine. Uh, the amino group attached with the carbon is an alpha carbon and the next carbon is beta carbon and uh, so the XH that is uh, X me it can be oxygen or it can be nitrogen if it is oxygen then it is an alcohol beta uh, mino alcohol uh, in the if it is alcohol then we say that uh, the alcohol uh, uh, is given preference uh, here and the alpha carbon is that give, uh, which is uh, attached with uh, this OH group and beta is that which is attached to amino group and so overall compound is named is beta amino alcohol or you can say beta hydroxy amine if you go with respect to amino group and uh, second uh, if this X is nitrogen then we uh, say it is a diamine 1 2 diamine or vicinal diamine which reacts with a uh, ketone and chloroform in the presence of base like sodium hydroxide and dichloromethane is a solvent benzyl trithyl ammonium chloride is uh, as acts as, as catalyst and we get the product and this product is uh, if x is oxygen then it is known as marfolinones and if x is uh, nitrogen then it is known as pipyrazinones 
piperazine uh, uh, actually is a, is a six membered ring in which two nitrogen are present at one and four position then it is called piperazine but as uh, you can see here is a ketonic functionality present in this uh, ring so it is named as piperazinone uh, likewise if x is uh, oxygen and then this six membered ring having nitrogen and oxygen at one and four position and you know oxygen uh, in that case if oxygen and nitrogen both are present in the heterocyclic ring then oxygen is given preference uh, and it given number one position and nitrogen will be the number four position and then this part is called morpholine uh, but here due to presence of ketonic functionality it is also named as morpholinones Here the complete mechanism for the original reaction given by Barchnanai that is the conversion of a ketone into a carboxylic acid uh, derivative. First the base, uh, strong base uh, like hydroxide uh, obstructs a proton from chloroform as it is a uh, partial positively charged due to presence of three electronegative uh, chlorides and uh, we get the carbonyl that is the carbon gets the negative charge this carbonyl acting as a nucleophile attacks on the carbonyl uh, carbon of the ketone and uh, the, the pi bond is broken and we get O minus that is alkoxide ion is produced uh, this alkoxide ion then moves uh, through intramolecular cyclization in which this uh, O minus oxide ion uh, acting as a nucleophile attacks on the carbon having three chlorine and one of the chlorine is uh, removed as a living group and we get an epoxide. Uh, this epoxide on directly reaction with the nucleophile and here the nucleophile attacks on the that carbon which uh, is not containing the two chloro groups. Always the nucleophilic attack is on the that carbon which is not attached to, to chloro groups but is attached to some other substituents uh, groups. So after this, uh, after the attack of this uh, nucleophile on this carbon, we uh, get the breakage of this epoxide and uh, the removal of chloride uh, as a living group, and we get finally the formation of an acyl halide or carboxylic acid chloride. Then uh, the hydroxide ion acting as a nucleophile again attacks on this uh, acyl halide, carbonyl of this acyl halide and uh, the pi bond is broken and this negative charge then moves back and chloride is removed as a living group and we get the carboxylic acid functionality in this uh, uh, reaction which contains uh, the nucleophilic uh, phenoxy groups also. Uh, this is the complete mechanism for heterocyclic uh, ring synthesis uh, by using Barchin direction. Uh, for this reaction uh, you can see the um, overall uh, reaction in which uh, the diamino or di, uh, uh, diamine having uh, if x is a uh, nitrogen then it is diamine and if x is oxygen then it is uh, amino uh, alcohol or um, uh, alco hydroxy amine which interacts with ketone in the presence of sodium hydroxide chloroform both are uh, regions uh, dichloromethane or uh, dcm is solvent and benzyl triethyl ammonium chloride is a catalyst and we get the cyclic heterocyclic compound uh, this is six membered heterocyclic ring. Uh, if X is uh, oxygen, then it is known as marfol marfolinone, and if X is nitrogen, then it is known as piperazinone. The first step and uh, second step are uh, the same. Uh, you can say first three steps are just uh, almost same. First step is uh, similar for the formation of carbon ion and second step is the similar uh, for the formation of epoxide ion and third step is the similar uh, for the interaction of this uh, nucleophile with epoxide and making acyl halide. Uh, but the fourth step is uh, different because in the last uh, mechanism uh, the original uh, reaction mechanism you 
see that uh, hydroxide acts as a nucleophile and convert this acetylide into a carboxylic acid but here uh, this xh group having lone pair if x is oxygen then it has two lone pair can act as a nucleophile if x is nitrogen it has one lone pair it uh, can also interact uh, act as a nucleophile and this react with this uh, acyl uh, carbonyl group of this acyl halide and makes the this nucleophilic uh, su substitution reaction in which chloride is removed as a leaving group in the form of hcl and we get the cyclic heterocyclic ring uh, for the uh, heterocyclic compounds uh, with the first step of this uh, original reaction that the d protonation of uh, chloroform by using a strong base to form carbonyl. Uh, strong base uh, uh, abstracts the proton uh, from chloroform which has uh, only one proton and so it converts it into carbonyl. Here you can see the uh, mechanism of this first uh, step that hydroxide and acting as a base uh, uh, attacks on the hydrogen having partial positive charge and the two electrons present between this sigma bond of carbon and hydrogen are moved towards the carbon and we get a lone pair with a negative charge on this carbon and this is a trichloromethyl carbonyl uh, with the, uh, this negative charge is balanced by sodium and the side uh, uh, the byproduct is water there is a question that why carbon and hydrogen both contain partial positive charges. Uh, normally, uh, we uh, use uh, partial positive negative charges uh, uh, in alternate position. That is, one atom is a partial positive charge, then the next will be partial negative, then the and then four next will be partial positive, and so on. But here you can see the three chloride having the partial negative charge, then carbon is partial positive. It is uh, understandable. But then Next, hydrogen is also partial positive, which should be partial negative with relative to carbon uh, having partial positive charge. Then why uh, both of these carbon and hydrogen which are uh, directly attached to each other and are given partial positive charge? If we explain it, uh, then uh, you can see uh, by taking some uh, quantitative uh, understanding that uh, three chlorides three uh, chloride, uh, chlorine atoms having partial negative charge creates three partial positive charge on carbon and uh, this uh, three partial positive charge carbon means there is high deficiency of electron density and this electron density will be fulfilled by the electrons uh, from the hydrogen towards the carbon and uh, so if uh, you consider this process in which uh, now electron density is moving away from hydrogen towards that uh, partial positive charge carbon so in that sense the hydrogen is uh, uh, giving electron density to the carbon so it will be given a partial positive charge and the carbon is getting some electron density from hydrogen it will give an a partial negative charge but this partial negative is too much small as compared to that partial positive charge which was created by three color iodine so overall this partial positive charge in carbon is uh, less as was created by three color iodine but is uh, partial positive and it will not be converted into partial negative uh, so, and hydrogen so will also be partial positive because electron density is going away from it uh, so this is the reason basic for the these two partial positive charges in uh, adjacent to each other with the step two in which the carbon ion uh, which was produced in the first step is uh, reacted with the ketone uh, carbon ion acting as a nucleophile attacks on the electrophilic center of the ketone uh, that is carbon of the ketone and uh, uh, we get a nucleophilic addition reaction in which an alkoxide ion is produced uh, which is uh, converted after uh, cyclization into epoxide or oxyrane. 
Uh, here you can see the mechanism, the carbonyl, carbon is partial positive charge and oxygen is partial negative charge, then uh, the nucleophilic uh, trichloromethyl carbon ion attacks on the carbon of ketone and the pi bond is broken uh, and oxygen gets the negative charge. If uh, you explain uh, this uh, why oxygen gets the negative charge, then uh, the pi bond uh, are present between this. Uh, the high electron activity of oxygen is already attracting the electron density towards itself. Then when this nucleophile attacks on the carbon, the electron density is moved away from carbon and oxygen gets the electron density and gets the uh, complete electron and negative charge also. Uh, so we get an alkoxide ion. This alkoxide ion then uh, attacks on the partial positively charged carbon which is directly attached to three color, uh, chlorine atoms and uh, uh, when this nucleophilic oxide ion attacks on this carbon, the chloride is a good living group, moves uh, fr away from this uh, carbon and we get a cyclic uh, three membered ring which is uh, generally called epoxide uh, or oxyrane. Epoxide is a general name and oxyrane is the nomenclature of heterocyclic uh, compounds uh, in which three membered ring, uh, saturated three membered ring is having oxygen is named as oxyrane. Ox for oxygen and irane for three member saturated ring. Uh, this uh, product is called uh, gem dichloro epoxide. Uh, gym position, uh, you know, uh, uh, one of the position is uh, termed as vicinal position. Vicinal position is that in which two groups are attached on the adjacent carbons. And uh, gym position is that in which the two groups are attached on the same carbon. Then that position is called gym position. Uh, here is some uh, question on uh, why this is a nucleophilic addition reaction. Uh, nucleophilic addition because uh, ketone do not, uh, does not have any uh, good living group. So this nucleophile attacks on this carbon oxygen gets the negative charge which intermolecularly attacks on the say, same uh, on one of the side of its own mole molecule and uh, gets the cyclized product. So it is termed as uh, nucleophilic addition reaction. Uh, second, uh, what is intramolecular cyclization? Cyclization means the conversion of a, a molecular species into a cyclic ring is called uh, cyclization and this cyclization uh, is uh, intramolecular or can be intramolecular or intramolecular. Intramolecular means the in the cyclization process the same species is uh, going to uh, form a cyclase by using its own parts its own uh, atoms but in intermolecular cyclization two different species interact with each other and form a cyclic ring uh, so generally this uh, alkox uh, because here the alkoxide ion um, moves towards the formation of a cyclic ring so this uh, is termed as intramolecular cyclization but sometimes um, it is also uh, some people uh, some scientists uh, say that it is uh, intramolecular because a ketone is not going to cyclize with itself uh, but it is going to cyclize with the another species nucleophilic trichloromethyl carbon ion which attacks on it and then it will move to so it should be termed as intermolecular cyclization. Uh, this is the uh, step 3 of uh, this mechanism that is the reaction of nucleophile with the previously formed epoxide. The nucleophile we have uh, discussed in the last lecture that nucleophiles can be used uh, are alcohols, amines or thiols and uh, then this nucleophile uh, interacts with the epoxide to form the final product of uh, it this uh, here the, the final product is acyl halide 
uh, first we talk about the formation of nickel fan here here uh, in this uh, regional reaction phenol was used as phenol is uh, acidic in nature so it interacts with the base and uh, hydrogen is removed and we get phenoxide which act as a nickel fan acting as a nickel fan it attacks on the carbon which is attached to uh, two methyl groups here in this case. Uh, this nucleophile does not at, uh, attack on that carbon which is uh, are at, uh, attached with two chloro groups. Uh, we explain uh, uh, later here why this is so. And then uh, the sigma bond between carbon and oxygen is broken. Oxygen gets the negative charge. This uh, negatively charged uh, negative charge oxygen moves towards the carbon, making double bond. And the chloride is a good leaving group, leaves the molecule, and we get the acyl halide product with the sodium chloride as a byproduct. Uh, here, first we explain uh, why. Uh, phenol is easily converted to phenoxide by base uh, but normally alcohols are converted into alkoxide and by a strong metal not by a base uh, we here we compare the acidity of phenol and uh, alcohols and we uh, see that the phenols are more acidic as compared to that of alcohol uh, due to presence of this uh, benzene which stabilizes the oxide ion that is phenoxide ion so the stability of phenoxide ion number two and foremost at number one the OH bond of this uh, phenol is more polar as compared to alcohol because uh, in case of simple alcohol aliphatic alcohol oxygen is attached to sp3 hybridized carbon but here uh, the oxygen is attached with uh, sp2 hybridized carbon and uh, therefore there are chances uh, uh, for the for, uh, removal of uh, proton more as compared to that of simple aliphatic alcohol. And secondly, the formed alkoxide ion is more stabilized by the resonance uh, through the benzene ring. Uh, so high acidity of phenol um, makes it uh, so uh, much able to interact with a strong base to uh, be converted into an a salt of phenoxide. But in case of alcohol, as alcohols are weak bases, and so weak ba due to weak basicity, they are unable to interact with a uh, strong base like sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and to form water and uh, alkoxide. So they are treated with a strong metal like sodium metal or potassium metal to form alkoxide. Ion. And the, uh, if you uh, ex uh, know uh, or uh, I explained uh, the formation of this alkoxide ion is in this way that uh, alcohol is taken and sodium metal or potassium metal is uh, uh, thrown into it and uh, most of uh, metal is already uh, is used completely but alcohol remains as such because it is uh, in excess and uh, we get a uh, base of alkoxide and sodium ethoxide or sodium methoxide which is present in ethanol or methanol and second question why epoxide is uh, uh, reactive uh, before this question uh, we should discuss that uh, why uh, phenoxide attacks on this carbon uh, which is uh, attached to two methyl groups and not to that carbon which is attached to two chloro groups uh, and we know that two, uh, two chloro mean two partial negatively charged atom and the carbon will be more partial positively charged as compared to this carbon which is uh, attached with a single electron active oxygen and on the other side the, there are two electron donating methyl groups are present which uh, surely will decrease the partial positive charge of this carbon but the phenoxide attacks on this carbon actually the case is that the go leaving group the leaving group is present on the carbon which is directly attached to two chloro group chloro is a leaving group so this phenoxide this nucleophile attacks on this carbon because the resulting transition state is so much stabilized and which is uh, moved towards the product also 
with the removal of the good leaving group chloride ion. But if this nickel attacks on that carbon which is directly attached to two chloro group, then the formation of alkoxide ion will have no final product because there is not good living group uh, present on the other carbon which are uh, methyl groups and they are not good living groups. So the attack of a nucleophile is on the carbon which is not attached to two chloro groups. Uh, now the question is why epoxide are, are reactive? Uh, normally we uh, see it is a, a simply a ether oxygen having oxygen with between two carbons and it is uh, just like ether so it should be stable uh, but it is stable as compared to other uh, compound other functionalities uh, as ethers are uh, you know more stable but uh, the ring strain present in this oxyrane uh, is uh, in this epoxide is the basic reason for the high reactivity of this uh, epoxide uh, because uh, it wants to uh, it uh, finish this ring strain and convert into a stabilized product. Uh, next question is uh, uh, phenoxide here is a nucleophile attacks the side of two methyl groups and not that of two chloro groups. I have explained it uh, Uh, here the last step, uh, step 4 for this uh, original uh, reaction, there is the conversion of the previously synthesized acyl halide into carboxylic acid. Acyl halides are ca converted into carboxylic acid uh, by the nucleophilic substitution reaction of uh, hydroxide ions. Hydroxide ions acting as a nucleophile attacks on the carbon of carbonyl. Uh, carbon of a cellulite and pi bond is broken oxygen gets the negative charge and uh, in the, uh, we get an intermediate of alkoxide and this alkoxide and uh, oxide uh, oxygen negative charge oxygen moves back towards the carbon making double bond and chloride as a good living group as compared to OH hydroxide leaves the uh, compound and we get the carboxylic acid moiety with the byproduct of sodium chloride uh, here the first question is why hydroxide ion attacks on carbonyl carbon instead of other two carbon attached to other oxygen atom. That you see here the hydroxide ion attacks on the carbon of uh, carbonyl group of a cellulite which is attached to oxygen atom. Uh, two features are here for this carbon. One, it is attached to a uh, chloro group and uh, oxide oxygen. Uh, both are electronegative. And second is it is sp2 hybridized carbon. If we see the other two carbons uh, which are attached to this uh, oxygen, one is uh, attached to towards the two methyl groups. And two methyl groups mean uh, uh, this carbon is uh, also partially ne negatively charged due to this uh, uh, oxygen of phenoxy group. Uh, but this partial uh, uh, it is sp2 3 hybridized carbon. So its uh, partial positive electrophilic character will be less as compared to the electrophilic character of the carbon of uh, acyl halide. Uh, then the uh, carbon of benzene ring which is directly attached to the oxygen is also sp2 hybridized uh, but if carbon uh, chloro if uh, nucleophile attacks on this carbon of uh, benzene ring first this attack is uh, impossible due to the pi electron uh, in a cloud of uh, over the benzene ring second if it attacks on this uh, carbon then the formation of negative charge on the other carbon is less uh, stabilized as compared to the negative charge on oxygen which is electronegative atom so all these things favor the attack of this nucleophile on the carbon of acyl halide and oxygen gets the negative charge Second question was uh, why this reaction is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction because the hydroxide ion acting as a nucleophile attacks on the carbon and the chloro group attached to the same carbon leaves the uh, compound and uh, as, uh, as a living group and so we get the product uh, which is a nucleophilic substitution product. 
uh, here is the mechanism for the modified form of this reaction uh, for the heterocyclic synthesis of compounds uh, the step one that is deprotonation of chloroform to form carbon ion and the step two the formation of epoxide by the reaction of carbon ion and ketone are just similar to the previous one uh, the step 3 and 4 are uh, looking uh, different due to involvement of different nucleophiles so we are discussing here the uh, step 3 and step 4 uh, the uh, nucleophile here is a beta amino alcohol or beta hydroxy amine uh, or it can be diamines uh, here you can see the uh, at a Re uh, the regent uh, of uh, amine, diamine are beta amino alcohol acting as a nucleophile which attacks on the carbon uh, and uh, this is that carbon which is not attached to two chloro group and we have already discussed uh, the in the previous uh, mechanism that uh, why this uh, attacking nucleophile attacks on this carbon not on not on that carbon which is attached to two chloro groups because uh, the resulting uh, for if this nucleophile attacks on this carbon in which it is actually attacking then we get the stabilized form of product with the removal of good living group of chloride ion uh, so this nucleophile attacks, uh, uh, attacks on this carbon if x is uh, also a amino group uh, then there is a question why this amino group is acting as a nucleophile but not that amino group is acting as a nucleophile although both are of similar types uh, the reason can be explained in this way that the two methyl groups uh, present in the vicinity of this amino group are uh, boosting up the nucleophilic character of this amino so it is acting as a good nucleophile as compared to other amino group and if X is an oxygen uh, that is hydroxy group then we already know that hydroxy uh, is a weak living as compared to amino because size of nitrogen is greater as compared to oxygen and uh, so nitrogen act as a good nucleophile as compared to oxygen after the attack of this nucleophile on this carbon the oxygen gets the negative charge uh, we get alkoxide and uh, this alkoxide and moves towards the carbon making uh, uh, carbon oxygen double bond that is formation of carbonyl and uh, the good living chloride removes and we get the acyl chloride moiety this removed chloride acting as a nucleophile attacks on the proton uh, that is uh, of ammonium uh, species and uh, we ge uh, get the neutral uh, molecule after the removal of HCl here can be question why this chloride uh, as a nucleophile is not acting on the proton which is attached to X that uh, X mean it is uh, maybe nitrogen it may be oxygen uh, uh, and also it is not why it is not acting on the carbonyl carbon of this acyl halide uh, first if interacts with the carbonyl carbon of a cellular then we get the previous uh, form so it is not fruitful uh, second if it attacks on the hydrogen of X group if X is amino group that is uh, X is uh, nitrogen then hydrogen of an amino group is not too much acidic uh, so that um, partial uh, negatively charged and nucleophile can omit that partial positively charged hydrogen uh, so uh, simply amines are not uh, deprotonated easily by a nucleophile uh, therefore uh, in case of uh, nitrogen there will be no removal of hydrogen but if X is the oxygen then the, the hydrogen sh should be partial positive charge and we know that alcohols are generally uh, acidic uh, but aromatic alcohols are mo more acidic simple aliphatic alcohol as the cases here are not too much acidic one, ke, one thing and second thing is also here that if proton is uh, ex, uh, omitted from X then X gets the negative charge and we get the product in which uh, a molecule having a positive charge apparently uh, in case of amino and a negatively charge on X uh, which is a less stable form as compared to that which is formed in the current situation that if this chloride 
obstructs the proton from ammonium, we get a neutral species which is more stable as compared to the previously uh, assumed uh, charge species. So the attack of chloride is on the proton of ammonium, um, ammonium uh, moiety and not any uh, elsewhere. Else. Um, in the next step, this uh, X having a uh, one lone pair if X is nitrogen and uh, two lone pair if X is oxygen. But I am showing here only one lone pair because it uh, interacts with the carbonyl of uh, carbon of acyl halide, which is partial positive charge, and oxygen gets the negative charge uh, with full minus negative charge. Then, then this negative charge moves back, making a double burn and chloride is moved away making a uh, leaving group of Cl minus. This Cl minus is a good leaving group uh, and uh, in the same time it acts as a nucleophile and abstracts the proton from the X here in this case. And uh, the sigma electron between X and the hydrogen moves towards the X making it neutral species. Here the possibility of obstruction is clear, but now in the last step it was not clear when X was uh, a simple neutral species, then it was uh, not possible to obstruct proton. But here X is p positively charged and uh, also the formation of ring allows the it uh, to obstruct the proton and make the uh, neutral or more stabilized product. So here the a uh, proton is abstracted easily by the chloride nucleophile with the uh, byproduct of HCl we get the main product of heterocyclic ring here. Uh, here are some synthetic applications of uh, this uh, uh, basal direction. Uh, first is similar that uh, uh, of the original reaction in which a uh, phenol acting as a nucleophile attacks on a uh, ketone or interacts uh, with the uh, chloroform ketone in the presence of sodium hydroxide and THF as a solvent uh, the yield of this reaction is uh, known to be 65 percent and we get the product in which uh, we uh, are uh, uh, with carboxylic acid derivative of the compound. Similar type of reaction is also uh, used by some other uh, scientists but here the starting uh, uh, region or you can say the nucleophile is uh, different here nucleophile is cumarine uh, which is used for the reaction uh, with this uh, chloroform and acetone in the presence of sodium hydroxide and we get the product with two carboxylic acid groups and after some uh, steps these are converted into some uh, regions which are uh, uh, some um, compounds which are used in the drug industry. Uh, your first reaction is the modified form of uh, uh, this uh, Basel reaction in which a nucleophile, uh, a series of nucleophile having a series of substituents where you uh, Y uh, can be OH, SH or amino that is anily in alcohol and thiols are interacted with ketones. In case of ketone Z can be CH2 or NBOG. NBOG means uh, BOG is the abbreviation for tertiary butoxy carbonyl which acts as a protecting group for this um, uh, nitrogen to act as a uh, to avoid uh, it uh, to act as a nucleophile. Here the base used was KF on alumina and uh, we in the form of in the presence of chloroform and uh, the solvent here was toluene. The yield of the reaction has been found uh, from 56 to 91 percent and we get the final product uh, with carboxylic acid functionality. Second is the reaction of ketone in which uh, here is uh, some uh, uh, difference from the original reaction that uh, where you can see R can be phenyl alkyl or uh, uh, phenyl ethylene R prime can be hydrogen if R prime is hydrogen then it is aldehyde and uh, can be alkyl group or phenyl group if alkyl phenyl then it is ketone but if it hydrogen then it is uh, uh, aldehyde 
it means this uh, reaction was modified for the formation of uh, uh, product by using an aldehyde the base used here is uh, sodium trichloroacetate uh, with the uh, tertiary butyl ammonium bromide as a catalyst chloroform uh, was a reactant with sodium hydroxide and uh, the reaction has been moved in under microwave uh, one method is uh, normally method used in the laboratory uh, through stirring or flexing is known as conventional method and the reaction which is uh, performed under the micro microwave irradiation is known as microwave assisted uh, synthesis or acetate reaction uh, the yields found for these reaction uh, these products were uh, 20 to 80 percent and this uh, low yield may be regarded to the this uh, aldehyde functionality because aldehydes are not good for this uh, reaction uh, so they will give too much least product of formation Uh, the first two reactions are just uh, explaining the last uh, uh, discussed uh, in which uh, we use the protecting group of Bach uh, or nitrogen. Uh, but here, uh, this uh, the uh, purpose of uh, writing this uh, reaction is that by using a simple amine aniline or alcohols or ether, we can perform the reaction and get the carboxylic acid derivatives. But the heterocyclic rings, amino groups or uh, alcohol or thiol present at heterocyclic rings have also been used for the formation of carboxylic acid in a successful way. You can see the second reaction in which uh, amino pyridine is used as an equilibrium and we get the yield of 72% which is thought to be a good yield. Uh, for the formation of this product. And the third one is uh, the uh, use of uh, alcohol or uh, phenol having different substituents. Here the X uh, and X prime can be hydrogen, color, bromo, and uh, R uh, making alkoxy group can be alkyl group. And which reacts with the ketone, cyclic ketone having R prime. Uh, substituent which can be hydrogen or some alkyl or some alkoxy group on the ketone reacts in the same conditions of sodium hydroxide and chloroform and we get the product of carboxylic acid this is just similar but a step is uh, moved uh, this reaction step a uh, moved further that there are chances for the cycle further cyclization of uh, uh, with the benzene ring with the hydrogen of the benzene ring simply uh, and substitution occurs and we get the it means that the uh, the benzene ring act as a nucleophile and uh, attacks on the carbon ion of the carboxylic acid and with the removal of water we get a cyclic 5 m cyclic ring this was the advancement in this reaction also uh, the recently uh, uh, modified reaction uh, uh, recently this uh, application of this reaction has been used for ninhydrin uh, which is uh, normally used for the uh, detection of amino acids so using this as a ketone and a nucleophile of aniline in the same conditions we get a carboxylic acid derivative of ninhydrin and it is on the centrally carbonyl carbon actually this carbonyl carbon is present in the form of two hydroxy here you can see the mechanism of this reaction in which first sodium hydroxide and chloroform interacts to uh, with the removal of water to form carbon and this carbon and acting as a nucleophile attacks on this carbon between the two carbonyl uh, group and the OH group leaves the uh, compound in the form of water and uh, water because OH uh, this OH uh, takes hydrogen from the uh, gem uh, hydroxy group two hydroxy group are so, so this uh, uh, one hydroxy removes hydrogen from the other and it, uh, it is converted into H2O and after the attack of carbon and it is removed easily uh, as a good living group otherwise the hydroxy group you know it uh, is not a good living group
uh, simply OH minus is removed it is impossible normally uh, in second this alkoxide ion moves towards the carbon and we get an uh, oxygen or epoxide ion the nucleophile attacks on this uh, carbon and uh, the oxygen is uh, broken into in the form of acylalide which are further converted into uh, carboxylic acid in the presence of base uh, having the same uh, mechanisms which we have discussed so this was a good uh, application of this reaction uh, for the formation of carboxylic acid derivatives of ninhydrin uh, ninhydrin uh, has also been uh, treated with the amine aniline nucleophile or you can see bifunctional anilines uh, by diamines dianilines which are linked uh, through uh, oxygen in the form of uh, ether or sulfonyl uh, group uh, so we get yields in a very good uh, or uh, excellent way that uh, with uh, oxygen or ether we get 85% uh, yield and with sulfonyl we get 83% yield so the reaction of ninhydrin uh, with uh, nucleophile has presented much uh, favorable yields for this uh, reaction uh, the last uh, examples were uh, for the original uh, reaction of uh, Barjnali that the formation of carboxylic acids. Here is the example of uh, uh, heterocyclic uh, ring synthesis. First is the reaction of diamine uh, with the cyclic ketone in the uh, sodium hydroxide chloroform uh, using DCM uh, solvent and uh, benzyl triethyl ammonium chloride as a catalyst and we get two products. Uh, two products are here because uh, you can see here one amino group NH2 group is primary amine and second NH is secondary amine. We have substituted uh, this secondary amine NH also in this way that uh, we are getting uh, the nucleophilicity, uh, making the nucleophilicity of both amino group uh, roundabout. And this thing uh, makes the reaction possible from this side also and we get two product. But uh, we have, uh, you have seen that in the last discussion, we have said that only the attack from the NH2 group was possible and we get only single product in normal cases. But here uh, due to substitution of this uh, second amino group also we get uh, the nucleosity roundabout and in this way we get two products but uh, here you can see uh, some interesting thing that the product with uh, the amino group that is primary amine is 67% uh, and the product with secondary amine is 15% the possibility can be uh, the explanation of this uh, difference can be due to steric hindrance but uh, because in case of secondary amine uh, there is uh, steric hindrance with the uh, long uh, large cyclic uh, uh, ketone and uh, the uh, group attached to this nitrogen and so the yield is 15% uh, too much low but in case of primary amine the yield is high which is 67% uh, the second is the example of reaction of uh, beta amino alcohol or beta hydroxy aniline uh, sorry beta hydroxy amine which reacts with uh, sodium hydroxide chloroform and acetone and makes the product in normal cases but here the conditions are changed and there is used uh, camphor sulfonic acid also as a catalyst and toluene as a solvent we get the 66 percent yield here and the product is uh, the same as we have discussed in the last conditions with benzyl triethyl ammonium chloride as a catalyst and here we get the marfolinone uh, moiety Uh, we is giving some comparison of this heterocyclic ring formation that is the formation of pipirazinone and uh, marfolinone uh, uh, first uh, is the use of, of diamine and second is the use of beta amino alcohol or beta hydroxy amine uh, here you can see the ketone is uh, same for both reaction the remaining condition of sodium hydroxide chloroform dcm uh, the catalyst by nitrogen ammonium chloride temperature and time everything is same but the yield of product is 90% for the pyperazinone 
moiety and the yield is uh, 77 percent for the marfolinone uh, moiety so the uh, use of two different uh, nucleophilic centers we uh, get the product uh, but it is uh, in less yield as compared to the yield given by diamines in practical synthesis uh, in the end uh, here are some examples of the use of uh, sulfur as a nucleophilic moiety and uh, here you can see the two reactions in first reaction carbon disulfide or uh, you can see dithiocarbonic acid it is also known as dithiocarbonic which is used uh, as a uh, reaction reagent with uh, anilin and, and uh, acetone and we get the product and second is the example of mercapto or thione as a nucleophile uh, which react with the ketone and uh, we get uh, thioether as a product uh, so this uh, reaction also explains the use of uh, sulfur as a nucleophile uh, we have seen the examples in which uh, oxygen and nitrogen have acted as a nucleophile but here is the example in which sulfur is also acting as a nucleophile uh, so this is all about of uh, today's lecture uh, and uh, thanks